Since my father died, my mother has been struggling on her own to support the whole family. At times, there hasn't been enough food to eat. Everything has been a struggle. My school is a long way away and I have a lot of chores to do first. I fetch water, sweep the compound, clean the house, wash the clothes, start the fire and take care of my brothers and sisters. If I am late for school, they close the gate and I miss class all day. Change begins with a bike. Change begins with your regular support. Before I got the bike, I told my mom I'm not going to school anymore because I'm tired of getting up at five and walking the long distance every day. I used to spend two hours getting to school, but now it only takes me one hour. I'm happy because I'm not late for school anymore. I have enough time to read my books and I still have time to do the rest of my chores. I love chemistry so much. It's my favorite subject. And now I have a bike to get to school. I can be a nurse one day. Change begins with a bike. Begin this journey as a regular giver. See the cycle of poverty broken for six pounds a month.
Welcome to the Big Church Sing. Today, in this season of change, this season of harvest, we're going to celebrate harvest together. And we're constantly reminded that in this season of change, in this global pandemic, and all that is uncertain in the world around us, that we have a God, an almighty God, who is constantly with us, an ever-present help in times of trouble. And so today we claim that and we celebrate and we thank him for all the blessings that he has poured out on us. In this time of uncertainty and anxiety for so many, we want to also pause and hold together. We want to connect with each other online. We want to gather together and to sing his praises and to thank him for all that is good. Because in this time, we praise the almighty God, no matter what the circumstances. Welcome to the Big Church Sing. Victory won, 
Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters, ab waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He set them in place forever and ever. He gave a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding. You mountains and all hills, fruit trees, all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on earth, young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens. He has raised up for his people a horn. The praise of all his saints of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. Yes, God, we are here to praise your name, to lift you up. Let us join with all of creation to give you.
I was just a wee tyke and I joined the Scouts, I remember one weekend we took our bikes out to France. I remember cycling on dunes, belting out tunes and campfire songs as we pedalled along tracks and roads, carrying loads of stuff packed into panniers, packed to the brim. My mum and dad had bought the bike for me especially. I remember feeling free, my passport stamped at nights we camped in farmer's fields and then merrily we'd roll along, wind in face, sweat on brow and how we laughed and sang and how we cycled and how the world changed and how we changed as we ranged free when I was just a wee tyke riding my bike in France. Hello, I'm Daniel and I sing in our boys choir called Libera, which is the Latin word for free. And we're lucky to be able to make recordings and give concerts in many different countries. We are very happy to be part of the Big Church Sing, which will help some people in some of the world's poorest communities. So we pray and sing and we hope to help save people's lives. It's really great to be with you as we share together in this harvest celebration. As you can see behind me, I'm stood in a, in a field of maize, which tomorrow is going to be harvested. Some of you may know that during September, I've been riding 250 miles to raise awareness and finance for change begins with a bike. 
I was inspired to do so through a, a virtual meeting. All We Can kindly arranged for me to visit Uganda a few weeks ago. And through that visit, I felt inspired through Change Begins With A Bike to help bring individuals and ultimately communities out of poverty to life in all its fullness. I've been following the same bicycle route every morning during September. I live in East Yorkshire and I'm privileged to be surrounded by beautiful scenery. And it's through some of this countryside I pedal each morning. Agricultural wise, this area is predominantly arable farming. So I've not only watched wheat and maize and cabbages and peas and potatoes and Brussels sprouts grow to maturity, most of them uh, have already been harvested. And now the land is being prepared to be sown again for another harvest next year. The land today looks very different to a few weeks ago when it was spilling over with colour and abundance. It has changed to look lifeless and dark. We're also living with change. It's constant and it needs to be. But since March with Covid-19 we found ourselves living with a kind of imposed change we never expected. We thought at first the virus would be around for a few weeks, but now we know that we're in for the long haul. Yet amidst this huge change, the agricultural community, who are some of our key workers, have kept on working, adapted to new practices, and the harvest in Great Britain, even though not a good one due to poor weather, particularly flooding last winter in many areas has been harvested. Harvest celebrations arose because people originally wanted to give their best to God. The unspotted lamb, the finest ears of corn. This was in response to the constancy and reliability both of the seasons and God their creator. And we give our best too when we gather to pause thoughtfully and sing joyfully and live responsibly and offer thankfulness to God in these changing days. Our Lord the Clouds are Gathering is a song of lament and longing. Lament for a broken world, for our part in its brokenness but also a prayer of longing because there is hope of healing and renewal. In fact, that hope shone out of my reading this morning from Isaiah chapter nine, which says, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. We sing because Christ is our hope and the hope of the ends of the earth, even in darkest times. So let's pray that our singing together carries that hope to hearts far and wide. God bless.
For people like me, riding a bike is something you do for a bit of fun. Maybe a leisurely ride with friends on a weekend. Others of you maybe ride more competitively, enter races or use your bike to get to and from work. But for people in some of the poorest communities around the world, the bike can be a tool for transformation. It can be a tool to change their lives for the better. And that's the change that we're celebrating this harvest. We're celebrating the change that's beginning to happen for people like Naulat and Moses, for David and Florence, people that you'll hear from in just a moment. You can be a part of that change. You can be a part of this movement for change to see the cycle of poverty broken. And you can do that by giving regularly. Giving a gift of six pound a month will help to see change begin with a bike. We'd love for you to be a part of that. And here's a short film to help you understand how you can get involved. Our biggest challenge is we take care of my elderly mother and seven grandchildren. It costs a lot and our income is very small. I really want to go to school, but it's a long way and I have a lot of chores to do first. Life has been very hard because I'm disabled. I'm struggling to support my family. It's not what I want to do, but I have to make bricks to help my family. For families like these, change begins with a bike. Change begins with your regular support. For Moses' son, Ariel, having a bike means freedom. Now I can get to school and not make bricks all the time. For Moses, it means now he can earn some money. My bicycle repair business will grow and I'll be able to feed my family. For Florence and David's extended family, it means an additional income. The bike makes it easier for our grandson Andrew to sell his fish at the market and get to school. And for Nawalat, it means the future she's always dreamed of. I use my bike to get to school so I can be a nurse one day. Change begins with a bike. Begin this journey as a regular giver. See the cycle of poverty broken for six pounds a month.
Since my father died, my mother has been struggling on her own to support the whole family. At times, there hasn't been enough food to eat. Everything has been a struggle. My school is a long way away and I have a lot of chores to do first. I fetch water, sweep the compound, clean the house, wash the clothes, start the fire and take care of my brothers and sisters. If I am late for school, they close the gate and I miss class all day. Change begins with a bike. Change begins with your regular support. Before I got the bike, I told my mom I'm not going to school anymore because I'm tired of getting up at five and walking the long distance every day. I used to spend two hours getting to school, but now it only takes me one hour. I'm happy because I'm not late for school anymore. I have enough time to read my books and I still have time to do the rest of my chores. I love chemistry so much. It's my favorite subject. And now I have a bike to get to school. I can be a nurse one day. Change begins with a bike. Begin this journey as a regular giver. See the cycle of poverty broken for £6 a month.